Hey, what is cloud computing? Explain plain and simple. My name is Broadus Palmer. I am founder of Level Up in Tech, and my mission is to help you learn cloud, help you land a job, and help you make money. And I wanted to create this video for those, number one, who don't know what cloud is at all, but number two, for those who are learning cloud and just can't quite explain it right now themselves. So this video will just help you piece everything together and hopefully turn on a switch to give you that, ah, I got it moment. All right. So what is cloud computing? So imagine you have a special box that you can hold things like your photos, videos, games, anything in, but this box is not in your house. All right. You can get to this box from anywhere in the world using your computer, your tablet, your phone. And that's what essentially cloud computing is like. All right. So in tech, cloud just refers to a bunch of supercomputers that are in a network or on a network. And these computers are in big buildings all across the world. And they keep your stuff safe and let you use the programs just like the special box. So what does that mean? Well, big companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, they own these big builders across the world and they call them data centers. Now they let us use their powerful computers through the internet. That way we can save spaces on our own devices and we can get to our stuff from anywhere. So when I say networks, right? Think about it from this standpoint. Let's look at it from a smaller issue. Think about in your home, you have your own network. This is called a Wi-Fi network. And your Wi-Fi network is whatever the network name that you named it. But connected to this network is super powerful computers in your house, right? From your phones, from your laptops, from your TVs, and any smart devices that you have. Now, think about, let's say if someone comes to your home they can be able to access your network and become one of these power supercomputers that are on the network. And your house can be a data center, your own personal data center, because you have so many computers that are connected to this one network that is pretty much private outside of you giving people the password to be able to access that network, right? So people come over your house, Hey man, what's your network password? Oh, let me share that with you. This is essentially what cloud computing is. We're actually accessing Google, Amazon, or Microsoft's network to be able to access their computers and use the resources on their computers. And they say, hey, with these computers, we don't want these computers to be ours. We're going to allow you or allow companies to rent these computers put their stuff on there and allow you the customer to have access to these computers to get stuff that you pay them for. All right. So let's talk about that. Here's easy ways you can use cloud. All right. So number one, you can save files. And so instead of keeping your photos or videos on your computer, you can save them in the cloud. So those of you who have a phone, Samsung cloud, iPhone cloud, right? You can save your videos and save your photos in a cloud account. So then you don't have to take up the storage space. And if you want to download your videos and photos, you just access your computer that's located on that cloud service provider, which is Apple or Samsung. Now think of it this way as well. Let's look at Netflix. Before Netflix, if we wanted to watch a movie videos, we would have to set up our own network at the house, VCR, DVD player. We had to buy the software, which is the DVD, C DVD CD or the uh, VHS uh, tape. And we had to play our stuff. If something went wrong, right? We couldn't access that video. We would have to fix it ourselves. But Netflix came and their files and videos are stored on Amazon's big data centers across the world. So now all we have to do is access Netflix.com or download their app, which in turn lets us access their computers that are in those data centers so we can access the files that we pay for 
which are the movies that we want to watch. If something happens, if we can't access those movies, Netflix will fix that for us and we don't have to do anything. It's completely managed. We don't have to troubleshoot. We don't have to do anything, but maybe give them a shout or they already know and they'll fix the issue for us. All right. Makes sense. All right. Now, second, you can use programs that are on the cloud, like Google Docs, and these programs run in the cloud so you don't have to put them on your computer if you don't want. So outside of Google Docs, think of other programs like Zoom or Microsoft Teams, where you don't have to download these things on your laptop um, to be able to use them, or even on your phone. You can literally go to the URL, zoom.us or zoom.com or Microsoft 365, and you can access these things using their computers that are stored on the data centers of Google, Microsoft, or Amazon across the world. All right. And third, you can collaborate with friends, even if they're in different places. So great analogy, social media, Facebook, right? We'll access Facebook servers, which is computers, and their network that they allow us to access to be able to meet, have meetings, chat, post content to interact with people around the world, build our business. If we're on LinkedIn or Instagram or TikTok, we're using their servers, their computers that are in data centers across the world to access their platform to interact. And the thing about this, when we upload a video to TikTok or upload a video to Instagram, we're uploading our video to their computers and they store our files for us. So if we wanted to get that video, we can go and look at that video the way we posted it, right? So yes, we have the video on our phone, but the video that we actually post on TikTok or Instagram, et cetera, could be completely different, right? Meaning we can have certain filters, we can have certain uh, wordings or titles or subtitles or whatever music that's attached to our videos. And they save it the way that we uploaded it to their and, and created it on their platform. That is the power of cloud. But why is it called cloud? It's essentially because all your stuff isn't stored on your computer. It's literally floating around the internet like a cloud in the sky. All right. So to sum it up, cloud computing is like having a special box that you can get to from anywhere. You can access your files, your programs. You can work and collaborate with people easy. You can access your videos that you want to watch, you know, whatever the case may be. And it helps us collaborate using our devices even better. So when I say devices, laptops, phones, TV, smart devices around our house. So I wanted to explain it to you simple and easy so you can get it. So when you have to explain what is cloud, you have an understanding of what it is. And hopefully this turned on the switch of this aha moment. All right. So once again, my job is to help you learn cloud, learn a role and make money. For those of you, this is the essential beginning. But if you keep going, keep learning, you're going to look back and you're going to say, man, three weeks ago, I didn't even know what cloud was. Or two months ago, I didn't even know what this thing was. Now I'm working, getting hands on and actually engineering some of these things in the back end that Broadus was talking about on this initial video, cloud computing, explain plain and simple. All right. So I love y'all. Let's keep continue to learn. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe. Don't miss any videos that I post. And we're going to keep helping you level up in tech. All right. Bye.